Hi, this scratch video will look at the Switch Costume 2 blog and see how it works. So I'm in my home page in the um, tips section and if you click on to the looks tab you will see that that's where the Switch Costume block is uh, located. So the Switch Costume allows you to change the look of a sprite and if I go into the Costumes tab you can see from my default cat sprite that I have a costume one and a costume two. So how can I use these costumes to look, the, to change the look of the sprite and make it look like it's moving and um, walking? So let's back, go back to the scripts tab. So this is a very simple way of testing out how this switch costume blog can be used. So here we've got switch costume to one and switch costume to two. So let's have a look at um, running this script and uh, looking at how it will work. So I'm in my looks script tab and uh, I'll drag out the switch costume to two and then I'll drag out the same block again. Now you can see that there's a little drop down menu here. So if I click on to switch costume to costume one, and if I go back to the costumes tab here, I can see that this is the costume that I'm referring to because it's got the costume name one here. So I can say let's switch costume to costume one and this can remain as costume two. So if I click onto this block here, you can see that it has changed the look and if I click on to the switch costume to one, you can see that it's changed its costume to look like costume one. How can I program so it will constantly switch costumes and look like the cat is walking? So if I snap these two together and click onto it. It's kind of running the script. So it is running the script where it says switch costume to one, then I'm saying switch costume to two. But it's actually running the script. It looks like it's running the script at the same time. So we can't actually see the costume changes occurring. So if I jump into my control block, I might just use the wait one second and snap it in between. And let's see what happens after that. Yep, so it's doing that quite well. It is switching costume to one, then it's waiting one second and it's switching costume to costume two. If I want to run this script, and run the program um, continuously, then I need to jump into my events tab and, um, sorry, into my control tab and grab my forever block. Let's uh, snap the forever block. So all of the switch costume uh, blocks are nested within my forever. And let's click onto that to test. Mm. So it is actually running the script where it's changing the costume one, waiting one second, and then switch costume to two, but it doesn't look so smooth. So I might have to grab the wait one second block and snap it underneath the costume two change. And let's see how that works. So there you have it. So that's how you can use the switch costume to one, wait one second, switch costume to two, wait one second, and basically I'm saying forever run these blocks. And to finish this off, I can add an event. So I could say whenever I press the green flag, let's forever run these uh, scripts. So let's test that out. So I've clicked onto the green flag. It's switching the costume to one, waiting one second, switching the costume to two, waiting one second, and it's forever running these script blocks. So have fun exploring the switch costume blocks.